into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. Hey, Graham. If you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. I woke up on the floor, my bed nowhere to be found. Can you believe that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. Ready for action? Do you have any idea where I can hunt down an eye of a hideous beast? What a glorious day for a tournament. My favorite time of year. Fire Ride new recruits, the clanks and clinks of armor clashing, and the action the very finest. One hopeful always rises to the occasion. I love it all. Some people in town, they complain about the barbaric events, but it's a tradition I'm proud to be a part of. If I was competing, I'd go after the biggest, scariest beast I could find, even if it meant certain death. As they say, fortune favors the bold. You, on the other hand, look like you spend a lot of time in your head. Trying to figure out all the possibilities before making a move? Pick a plan and go! Too much time thinking leads to inaction. And inaction is just boring. So, I've been meaning to ask. What is that amazing blade for? Is it for battling vicious werebears? How many ice orcs has it slain? Does it deal justice? Is it road legal? Is it made of fear? Oh, that? No, no. That's for gardening. I use it to trim my hedges. Seeing as my place is all tended to, and my petunias are most lovely, I'm willing to part with it for the price of one shiny gold coin. I'm sure you've got a prickly situation that needs attending. How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. Bye. Fortune favors the bold, and Amaya favors the fortune. Did you do it? Did you spend your only gold coin on the epic weed whacker? I did. The bold costs a fortune. Now, Graham, promise me you will only use this for its intended purpose. I shall be brave in all my hedge trimmings. Those plants will never see it coming. Back away from the crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. You make up your mind? Bye. Make your move. How much for that twisty dagger over there? It's not for sale. Needs a bit more work. You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. Sometimes you roll the dice and they all come up wenty. Even though the bridges are out, and my supplier has gone missing, I got a generous tip. When I wasn't even here! Oh, bless their soul. They probably left it as a thank you for my charity work. No one ever goes hungry when I'm around. Well, now, you fine strapping lad. How may I help you? Did you figure out what you want to order? 
That's not a delicious, chocolate, hideous beast eye cake I smell cooking, is it? Looking for an eye, are you? Well, it must be that time of year again. Frankly, I can't tolerate it. The Fae's weren't raised that way. It's archaic! So much fighting and needless killing! Compassion comes from the heart, you know? As does food! If you want to get to the heart of any problem, all you need is pie! I know it doesn't sound logical, but I believe that we need to stop thinking with our heads and start opening our hearts! What's today special? Oh, well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie. A delicacy big enough to feed an army. Or someone with the appetite of an army. I've eaten it in one sitting before. Well, don't judge. No one would trust a skinny baker, now would they? Unfortunately, my ingredients haven't been delivered. And I can't complete the recipe. Until those bridges get fixed, people will just have to settle for the love in my goat hoof pie instead. Ah, tell you what, if you can find me some starberries and sugar shrooms, you can have this monster pie for the discounted price of one gold coin. Got any free samples? Oh, today only. I'm letting people sample our new walnut strudel. However, I ran out of bitter root. It's really nasty on its own, but it really brings out the nutty flavor of the strudel. It usually grows under big, heavy rocks. If you can find me some, you can have all the free samples you want. So, where can I find the ingredients for that giant pie? I'll also need one gold coin. But which ingredient? Never mind. Good day. <laughs> oh, great day! These starberries are perfectly ripe, just squishy enough. And with a faint scent of musky cabbage. Now, if you can find me the sugar shrooms, she's all yours. For the discounted rate of one shiny gold coin. Wow, these sugar shrooms look amazing. Just the right amount of shroomy and not too sugary. Now, if you pass me one shiny gold coin, Grandma's giant star shroom pie is all yours. Looks like we could put some love on those bones. Good day. Don't desert me. <laughs> the sign read... Ask us about our free samples. the delivery boy, are you? That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, horse feathers, Chester. This boy's no courier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He's a thinking soul, just like us. If he continues down this path, he will have no trouble defeating the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? No, we're just very old and very judgmental people. It's true, we're judges. This is my judging face. Ariel and I don't read fortunes anymore. Yep, there was no future in it. Yeah. Well, we couldn't tell fortunes if we wanted to. Some scoundrel stole our fortune table whilst we were watching the parade. Mm-hmm. 
You haven't seen anyone rolling around Devontree with our tabletop, have you? I'm pretty sure I saw the Merchant of Miracles using your table as a replacement wheel for his ridiculous cart. <laughs> a shyster? We better keep our doors locked, Muriel. He might come back for our pickled fish legs. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. It looked like some type of broken lantern. Ooh, what are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kinda like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. He reminds me of our son. <sighs> I always miss him this time of year. He dreamed of becoming a knight, too. I wish he would visit more. Or at least right. He was quite handy right? Yes, boy. Do you have any eyes of hideous beasts in stock? An eye, you say? Yes, yes. Uh, your name, please? Uh, it's Graham. Last name? Graham. Graham, Graham, with a G, I assume. Hmm. I don't see your name on this list. Oh, you did pre-order, right? Uh, pre-order? Oh, yes, this time of year our eyes fly off the shelves. If you haven't pre-ordered, you're out of luck. Our eyes are completely on back order. If you'd like, we can put you on the waiting list for our next shipment. When will that arrive? We get shipments every eight months. I'm afraid that won't work. Well, hang on a sec. It's Graham, right? May we bend your ear for a bit? Bend away. You need an eye for the tournament, I'm guessing. Yes, I have always dreamed of becoming a knight. Why? With Daventry's addendums this and proclamations that, it seems a frightful business. Do you have any idea how many royal guards we lose to that voracious moat monster? Well, my father was a knight, and my grandfather was a knight, and my great-grandfather... Well, he was a dentist, but his father was a knight. Basically, I come from a long line of protecting crowns. I started looking for knight jobs while I was still in the academy, but once I graduated, all the opportunities had dried up. I might not fit in here, but Aventry's my last shot. Oh, you'll fit in just fine. It might be too late to capture the rule-defined eye of a hideous beast. But rules will bend for those who can outsmart the rule-makers. So, I've just gotta know, what is brewing in that cauldron? Is it a transfiguration elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? Will I sprout the wings of an eagle? Or a fly? Oh, this? Teeth whitening potion. Oh, it's gonna change everything. Watch this. Behold the power of whitening! Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well, we're still working out the kinks. While we're still in the prototype phase, feel free to dip whatever you want in there free of charge. Ooh, how much for that candle? Our everlasting blue flame lantern? The housing's broken. Someone brought it in for repair but never paid. Tell you what. If you bring us something we can hollow out to house the candle, you can have it for the price of one shiny gold coin. How's that teeth whitening potion coming? Well, we're still working on it. You can dip whatever you want in it for free. No guarantees it'll come out white, though. Fare thee well. May your quest be logic field. How did the bell work on that? Go ahead and dunk it! Astounding! He reminds me of our son.
I was a few steps behind, but I was hopeful a beast was in that well, and I wanted an eye to impress everyone. But, Grandpa, the dragon lives down there. I didn't know that yet, Gwendolyn, and pretend you don't either. This story takes place before the one I told you last night. Sometimes a story is best told out of order. Oh, got it. <laughs> I was out of my league down there, but I had something to prove. Uh, hey! Whatever's down here, it's mine. Stalarma Afamata. 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 Stalarma. And that's what happens to those who do not listen. <laughs> Stalarma Afamata 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 Wata Afa Mata. Afa Mata? Stalarma. Afa Mata. Afa Mata? Afa Mata. Afa Mata? Afa Mata. Water. And then we paused there for some tea and cake. No, we did it! What a...
Wait, two eyes? Yes, and another surprise. Squee! <laughs> we didn't share your excitement. 